Greetings, greetings, greetings. You're now tuned in to Soulful King, who no longer has a dream, but has a mission I will achieve. I'm here to raise the energy, the frequency, and the vibrations of the collective. I welcome you with love and light. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. All right, subscribe to the YouTube and tell your friends about it. You can comment. It helps the algorithm of the channel. It lets me know that things are really resonating with you. All right, I'm speaking to you. You a light worker. You a seer. You have any type of um, um, intuitive abilities, any type of psychic abilities. You could be a shaman, a doctor. All right, you could be the woo lady. You could be the medicine man, the medicine woman. You could be a gypsy. You could be a fairy. Whatever you choose to be or identify by, you are welcome. And this is a sacred space of safe space. All right, I love you guys. I thank you everyone who did join my live on August 3rd. That was my solar return, my soul day, my birthday, my born day. I thank you all who joined the live. All right. If you want to know anything else about me, the description box is going to be left below um, with all my other social media platforms. Also, if you wanted to donate to me or my channel, my cash app is left below. So with that being said, I welcome you with love and light. And we're going to have you get your um, energy out. All right. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love y'all so much. I love what I do. It makes me smile. It makes me feel great to know that I'm helping inspire, uplift, and elevate the collective. All right? That's my mission. Thank y'all for rocking with me. So we're going to be using your Ascended Masters and Ancestors Oracle Healer deck created by me. My Ascended Masters and Ancestors. All right. So let's see what messages that we have for you today. First thing is accolades. The next one is we are the best of friends. The next one is robe and robe fell on top of accolades. You are very important. You have a very important role. I'm getting, you have a very important role. Even though it said robe, you have a very important role. And what came last was Midas touch. All right. So we have accolades. We are the best of friends, robe, and Midas touch. This is giving me an earth angel. Off rip, I've seen the temperance. This is earth angel. You got the Midas touch. You got a robe on. We are the best of friends and accolades. This is also giving me your cinema masters and ancestors. I want you to know that um, you making a pact with them, becoming best friends with your spirit team, they're... It's like you're getting your robe. Almost like when people get their wings, you're getting your robe. You're getting this robe, like your graduation. You graduated. You're receiving the accolades. You graduated. This medallion, the tap on the shoulder. You have graduated. You have elevated to a new phase. Everything you touch turns into gold. Everything you touch, you manifest from it. The things that, you, like, it's like your touch you put on it. Your niche. You have graduated. You got your robe. You receive your robe. Yes, this is giving me graduation. So let's go ahead and use your Sacred Forest Oracle deck to clarify these Ascended Masters and Ancestors Oracle messages. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. What I'm really seeing is um, I'm seeing the Knight of Swords. You, you're very autonomous. You have autonomous energy about you. You are your own hero. You become your own hero and a hero to others. At the bottom, you got ego spirit. You're very free-spirited. You roam. You allow your you allow yourself to, to explore, to experience. That's what I'm saying. You are very high-ranked. The ego has to come down to eat, but it usually stay high. I'm also getting a hawk, too, the hawk spirit. That could be significant to you. I'm also getting Pluto, transformation. Yes, this is your messages from the spirit realm. All right, accolades. Accolades. Accolades, you manifest in your dream. You got water spirit. You could be a water sign. You can have water in your chart. All right, you don't have to be. Just take the energy with you. This is the water spirit. You're manifesting your dreams. You could be dealing with water spirits. You could be, if you went to um, 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 Ifa, Santeria, um, Kondumble, I think I said it right, Kondumble, Kondumble, I think I said it right. Any type of spiritual practice that deals with water spirits in general, you could be dealing with water spirits. These are also your earthly spirits of water um, contacting you, letting you know that um, they're proud of you because that's what I'm getting. 
on top of accolades, you got manifesting dreams. This is definitely giving me like that. You see that one otter in the back? It's probably the lightning, but he's like looking up. But the energy that he's looking at is really right here. The coloring is so off. It's like pinkish purplish. It's very galactic. And he's like got his hands together. He or she, divine masculine and feminine, the energy of, of like praising, like being grateful. You showing gratitude to your spirit team. Whether you can see it or not, and this one person, this could be somebody in your energy that probably don't believe you, or they're going to get a chance to see these dreams and manifestations happen before their eyes as well. Like, they're going to get front row seat of your, of your, of, they're going to get front row seat of your abundance, is what I heard. But I'm also feeling they're going to get a front row seat of your graduation. They're going to see you elevate, pretty much. They're going to see you get rewarded, and this can actually be happening in real time. I'm getting a six of wands. This could be happening now. My readings are timeless. Whenever you see this, it's meant for you to see it. All right. It could be happening on the way or this could be happening now for someone. You could be a public speaker, maybe someone um, into um, like arts and crafts, like do it yourself type of things. You could be creating something with children. Like you a humanitarian, you a humanitarian, you are the star. You could be an Aquarius watcher. You don't have to be Aquarius, can be placement in your chart. Just take the energy. You're a star, you're a humanitarian, definitely. Very inspirational, very inspiring to others. Others, uh, you inspire others with your gifts. You're a galactic being. You have a powerful energy about you. I'm saying orange, but I'm also getting this purple, yellowish. So this is definitely purple, pinkish. I said yellow. So now it's giving me your sacral, your solar plexus, your third eye, and crown. It's all lit up. Those are lit. Just specifically those. And that also could be something you need to work on, your sacral, your solar, your crown and your third eye, because I'm getting your intuition. So what I'm seeing in my third eye is those, okay, those energies I just spoke on, those portals has been activated. So your sacral has been activated, your solar plexus, solar plexus has been activated, your third eye and your crown. Your heart and your root was already activated. So now you are in the full alignment. And you just needed to hit those. And this is a big dream, manifested dream. You probably dreamed to be, you probably affirm this to yourself. You always like, you dream this, you wish this, you pray this, you affirm it. You, you want to be aligned. You want to be balanced, equilibrium. You want to be divinely connected and divinely protected. This is thing, like your this is things that you pray and ask for, and it's happening. You already had the the, the um root. And the heart, you just have to go ahead and activate that sacral, that sacral, sacral, that intuition, that third. I'm also getting, when I said that, that sexual energy, you can, you probably need to do semen retention or you already been doing it. You could be, you could be into celibacy right now and it has, it don't always have something to do with a relationship. You could be doing it just to heal thyself. Replenish your energy. That was a lot. Just in that one card. Just in manifesting dreams. Water spirit. You could be someone that's literally out in nature. Next to um, the waterfalls. You could be next to a lake or lagoon. Or a beach. Or a river. Alright. And you're probably talking to yourself. Or your ascended masters and ancestors. And they hear you. They praising you for all the work you've been doing. They're there with you. All right. You could also be getting a, giving an offering to a water spirit. All right. We are the best of friends. You saw it pop right out. Courage. You'll send a message to the answer. I want you to know to have courage. Courage is a French word, which means what it's, 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 it means of the heart. What feels right in that moment. Courage. Courageous. The number three can be significant to you. April 6th, June 4th. The number 46 can be significant. March, we are the best of friends. All right. This is also letting me know that you probably left some people behind that you thought were your best friends. And now they're going to see you manifest because I'm getting that. I'm literally looking right at it where it's almost like courage was like you had the courage to let some people go. Let those friends go that we were all the best of friends. Y'all thought y'all were the best of friends so much, but you outgrew them. And you going into this new beginning, and you, and you, you just like it's it's put this way. It's like we we aren't different. You aren't different, but you're unique. 
because we're, we're none of us are different. We're just unique. There's something about you that makes you. But we're all the same. We all belong to a, a divine lightness. We all belong to a, one frequency. But what I'm seeing is like, because it's two otters. They're the same otter. They're from the same place and everything. You could be from the same place and all. But you outgrew this person based on you believing in yourself. Because you got one otter out the water. One literally in the water like this. And he's just smiling. And you can see all the little shimmers of light. Someone looking at you like how you made it out and we came from the same place. What are you looking at you like, dang, they really believe in themselves. And look, look at them manifesting their dreams. You are. You're probably about to have this castle. I'm also here. Um, up past my bedtime. No rest in the kingdom. Um, that's Beyonce. I think Beyonce said, we should get married. We should get married. Um, I think that's that song. As long as you know who you belong to. Because all I'm really asking for is you. Someone wants you bad. Someone's asking for you. They want you to know. As long as you know who you belong to. Like somebody watching you. They stalking you. And they trying to manifest you too. Someone trying to manifest you in their life. And it could be an old friend too. And this is what your cinematic ancestors are shining a light on. Because if you look at that, that's a bright light at the top of that castle. Shine a light on what's hidden. But what's hidden is that you left this behind. That's why I look so far behind. Because you're going into these new beginnings, which is all this yellow and this blue. You left that behind. And who you left behind was this person. It could be a relationship. It could be a friend. It could be a job. Because you're going after your dreams. You're manifesting what you believe in. I'm hearing... Um, if you believe, what song is that? Um, if you believe, I think it's by Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston. You may, you may go listen to that. Sometimes it was from Prince of Egypt. If you believe, I can't remember. I don't know the lyrics. Like I know the lyrics, but I'm like channeling right now, and it's like I see the vision. I hear the lyrics. I'm hearing pieces of the song. But spirit wanted me to stay focused. I don't want to get too caught up in the, in my clear audience because I'm trying to fish the words for you. But you go listen to it and you'll know. And that's the truth. You need to stand in your truth, Raven Spirit. That's the truth. I'm telling the truth. But also, the truth is mean like you. You need to stand in your truth. You need to stand in your truth and stay true to yourself. That's just another song by K Count. Was it K Count? I think. I could be wrong. Um, Ace Hood. K Camp or Ace Hood, I think it's Ace Hood. And the song is, I don't know what it's called, but he said, um, I won't change no matter the fame, no matter the name, I won't change. You get what I'm saying? Maybe that's your center masters and ancestors and letting you know when this happened, continue to be humble, continue to be modest, do not change. You know, no matter your name, no matter the fame, do not change. Stay pure to the heart because that's what got you here. It was the frequency. you being judged by your heart posture. All right? This is amazing. We got healer on top of robe. You were healer. You were healer. You were healer. If you didn't know, you know now. You were healer. You got bear spirit. And you got healing. You're going through a healing phase. A transformation. Also, just let me know that you were healer. Because me seeing the robe makes me think about a shaman. You, you a shaman. You a shaman. I'm speaking to you. You a shaman. You could be the medicine woman or the medicine man. But you a shaman. You are. The number four could be significant. April. Midas touch. Midas touch. It's 707 on the clock right now. That could be significant to somebody. And truth came out, out again. Midas touch. It's the truth that you are here. It's the truth that you have the touch to heal people. This is the truth. You got truth set on top of Midas touch. It's the truth that um, the creatures of the high, flying creatures, they gravitate towards you. Or the creatures of the low gravitates towards you. It's the truth that you are a high vibrational being. And you attract what you think, what you believe. It's true that you are a healer. It's true. You need to believe it. Have courage. Step, stepping out on faith. This is giving me NDRE. Strength, courage, and wisdom has been inside of me all along. Strength, courage, and wisdom inside of me. It's been inside of you all along. It's been inside of you all along. You always had the courage. You've always been courageous. That lion energy. You know, but you was gentle. You gentle as a bird. 
It's giving me, it must be nice. Listen, I'm getting mixed messages for some people. This could be relationship. This definitely could be relationship. But for some of y'all, this can be just self, you know, self-reassurance. That you are the truth. That you have that mind touch. Everything you touch, turn to go. Everything you touch, you, you manifest it into whatever energy that you put into it. The intentions you have into it. You have your robe on because you could be someone who is a healer. You probably actually wear gowns or um, a shawl or a cardigan you know you could be someone that actually create elixirs and um healing medicines for yourself in your home or actually for others if you are one of those um like a herbalist all right or the medicine man or the medicine woman you could be doing this for yourself too you know or you could be preparing for the winter also because i'm also getting that which we are getting into the fall the winter i'm seeing the fall and winter in between in between you could be getting ready to visit uh, another state, another country. All right. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Always remember that these readings are timeless. So let's get your overall energy. All right. At the bottom, you have prosperity. So you're coming into the B spirit. You're coming to, very, to a very prosperous time, stepping in, out on faith and believing in yourself. And this is going to attract the abundance that you need. All right. You, it's almost like you track, you, you going to be attracted to your manifestations like a bee attracted to, to flowers, to wildflowers, to hibiscus. You could be drinking hibiscus tea. You may be going to travel Hawaii, all right? Also, getting like you, you may be someone who really loves honey. You could be offering that to one of your deities, all right? That's also giving me the Oshun energy, Oshun energy. Bee spirit. This is very beautiful. You may love sunflowers. You may be went to, uh, took pictures in sunflowers, a sunflower patch. People may think this may happen overnight, but they don't understand how much you had to go through to get this, to become this person. You may be a fairy, all right? And if you identify by that, I'm actually talking to you, fairy. You're someone that sprinkled a lot of love in the dust. Your dust and your powder is the love, is the energy, is your intentions that you sprinkle all over. It, it's, you, it, it, it's like rainfall, it's almost like snow, when snowflakes, like your energy is like, like your energy is so pure and so sweet like honey, it's like snowflakes. It's so funny, I have this in my book. If you have my Positive Vibes book, it's a book of affirmation, quotes, and lyrics um, I created. And I wrote that. My... My energy is so sweet that even bees can't resist. I'm speaking to you. Your energy is so sweet that even bees can't resist you. People are not going to be able to resist you. That's why your cinema is interested. They want you to be modest and be humble because when you step into this limelight, they don't want you to, to forget them. I'm hearing, don't forget about me. Don't forget about them. We are the best of friends. Remember what got you here. We help you leave and get out of this darkness. Like you Rapunzel or something. Like you've just been up in the castle waiting. Like you've been waiting. And when we say let, remember the man said, he said let down your hair? But it's different. It's almost like you're the man and Rapunzel letting her hair down is your ascended masters. Letting, letting, um, letting the ladder down. I'm getting letting the ladder down. They're letting the ladder down so that you can climb it. It's the climb. Is that by Mar Miley Cyrus? It's always gonna be another mountain. You always wanna, you always gonna wanna make it move. They let you know it's, it's not about. It's the climb. It's the journey. It's not about the destination. It's not about. It was never about getting there. You were always gonna get there. Because what is for you is for you. It was about everything you had to go through to get to where you are, to get to where you're about to be, and your story is gonna connect and touch. Others save them. They're going to be able to chew their meat and throw their bones and take resonates in their lives based on your experiences. And your overall energy for this reading. Everything I said, I trust my gifts and the cards don't lie. You got Forest Temple Enlightenment. You've been enlightened on something. Something really sparked in you. You you see this. You wide open. You getting ready to, you getting ready to step into a new phase in your life. You see that door, that golden door back there? Living my life like it's golden, golden, golden. This is you. 
divine feminine, divine masculine with that that cup. It's gonna be it could be a cup of love, cause it's water emotions, but it's also because um, when it deals with emotions, water it can be yourself. It can be the power of renewal. Okay, the power of renewal. I'm getting love, guys. When it comes down to the Viking room, love, guys. The power of renewal. You're manifesting your dreams and your fantasies. Yes, water. You may need to drink some water. You need to, need to cleanse yourself and get ready for this energy that's coming through. All right, and put on. She do have on a robe. Look, at, she has on a robe. Look at this. With this crown, like you've been crowned. This is amazing. The number 19 could significant to you. January 9th or September 1st. This is amazing. This is your message coming divinely from your center masters and ancestors, from your higher heaven, your crown. From the higher heavens, from the ethers letting you know you have the right of passage. The door is wide open for you to go right through the vault. And you don't need to bring much. All you need is yourself. And bring a cup with you. The cup that you have with you is within you. Of course, on this card, she's holding one. But the cup that you have is within you. I'm getting that. Fill me up. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Listen, you about to overflow with this abundance. You about to overflow. I love y'all so much i thank y'all so much for allowing me to connect to your energy and give you these messages Ooh, i'm getting the goosebumps this feels so good and this is amazing this is amazing so i'm gonna send all your divine energy back to you with love and light <laughs> i'm gonna call my divine energy back to me with love and light i ask that you um just make sure you comment if anything resonates with you like share subscribe hit notification bell hit the all so you can see everything i do post all right Peace, love, and light. Namaste. Amen. I share you. I eat, bubble.